beginning of prime. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Open my mouth, O Lord, to bless thy holy name. Hence also my heart from all vain, evil, and distracting thoughts. Enlighten my understanding, inflame my will, that I may wordly recite this office with attention and devotion, and deserve to be heard in the presence of thy divine majesty. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, in union with that divine intention which thou dost praise God on earth, I offer thee this hour. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance, O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Him. Now in the sun's new dawning, where he lowly apart our God be pray, that he from harm may keep us free, and all the deeds this day shall see. May fear of him our tongues restrain, leave strife and guarded speech and stain. His favour and care our guardian be, least rise feed and vanity. May every heart be pure from sin, and folly find no place therein, that when the light of day is gone, and night and course shall follow on. We free from cares the world affords, may chant the praise that is our Lord's. All laud to God our Father be, all praise eternal Son to thee, all glory as is ever meet to God the Holy Paraclete. Amen. The Lord's Day Prime. Alleluia. Psalm 117. Give praise to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let Israel now say that he is good, that his mercy endureth forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let them that fear the Lord now say that his mercy endureth forever. In my trouble I called upon the Lord, and the Lord heard me and enlarged me. The Lord is my helper, I will not fear what man can do unto me. The Lord is my helper, and I will look over my enemies. It is good to confide in the Lord rather than have confidence in man. It is good to trust in the Lord rather than to trust in princes. All nations compass me about, and in the name of the Lord I have been revenged on them. Surrounding me they compass me about, and in the name of the Lord I have been revenged on them. They surrounded me like bees, and they burned like fire among thorns, and in the name of the Lord I was revenged on them. Being pushed I was overturned I my fall, but the Lord supported me. The Lord is my strength and my praise, and he has become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and of salvation is in the tabernacles of the just. The right hand of the Lord had wrought strength. The right hand of the Lord had exalted me. The right hand of the Lord had wrought strength. I shall not die, but live, and shall declare the works of the Lord. The Lord chastising had chastised me, but he had not delivered me over to death. Open ye to me the gates of justice. I will go into them and give praise to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord that just shall enter into it. I will give glory to thee, because thou hast heard me, and art become my salvation. The stone which the builders rejected the same has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day of the Lord which the Lord had made. Let us be glad and rejoice therein. O Lord, save me. O Lord, give good success. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he hath shone upon us. Appoint a solemn day with shady boughs, even to the horn of the altar. Thou art my God, and I will praise thee. Thou art my God, and I will exalt thee. I will praise thee, because thou hast heard me, and art become my salvation. O praise ye the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, forever and ever. Amen. Psalm 118, Part 1 Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that search his testimonies, that seek him with their whole heart. For they who work iniquity have not walked in his ways. Thou hast commanded thy commandments to be kept most diligently. O oh, that my ways may be directed to keep thy justifications. Then shall I not be confounded when I shall look into all thy commandments. I will praise thee with uprightness of heart, when I shall have learned the judgments of thy justice. I will keep thy justifications. O oh, do not thou utterly forsake me. For I bought the day and went correct his way, by observing thy words. With my whole heart I have sought after thee. Let me not stray after thy commandments. Thy words I have hidden in my heart, that I may not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy justifications. With my lips I pronounce all the judgments of thy mouth. I have been delighted in the way of thy testimonies, as in all riches. I will meditate on thy commandments, and I will consider thy ways. I will think of thy justifications, I will forget not thy words. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, forever and ever. Amen. Psalm 118, Part 2 Give bountifully to thy servant, and live in me that I shall keep thy words. Open thou my eyes, and I will consider the wondrous things of thy law. I am a sojourner on the earth, hide not thy commandments from me. My soul had coveted to long for thy justifications at all times. Thou hast rebuked the proud, they are cursed to decline from thy commandments. 
Remove from me reproach and contempt, because I have sought after thy testimonies. For princes have sat and spoke against me, but thy servant was employed in thy justifications. For thy testimonies are my meditation, and thy justifications my counsel. My soul that cleaves to the pavement, quicken thou me according to thy word. I have declared my ways, and thou hast heard me. Teach me thy justifications. Make me to understand the way of thy justifications, and I shall be exercised in thy wondrous works. My soul that slumbered through heaviness, strengthen thou me in thy words. Remove from me the way of iniquity, and out of thy law have mercy on me. I have chosen the way of truth, thy judgments I have not forgotten. I have stuck to thy testimonies, O Lord, put me not to shame. I have run the way of thy commandments, when thou didst enlarge my heart. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, for ever and ever. Amen. That's an ancient creed. Whosoever will it to be saved needs above all to hold the Catholic faith. Which faith, except every one do keep whole and undefiled, he will no doubt perish everlastingly. Now the Catholic faith is this, that we worship one God in Trinity and Trinity in Unity, neither confounding the person nor dividing the substance. For there is one person of the Father, another of the Son, another of the Holy Spirit. But the divine nature of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit is one, their glory equal, their majesty co-eternal. Such as the Father is, such as the Son, such as the Holy Spirit. The Father uncreated, the Son uncreated, and the Holy Spirit uncreated. The Father infinite, the Son infinite, and the Holy Spirit infinite. Father eternal, the Son eternal, and the Holy Spirit eternal. And yet there are not three eternals, but one eternal. As also there are not three uncreated, nor three infinites, but one uncreated and one infinite. So likewise the Father is almighty, the Son is almighty, and the Holy Spirit is almighty. And yet there are not three almighties, but one almighty. So the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. And yet there are not three gods, but one God. So the Father is Lord, the Son is Lord, and the Holy Spirit is Lord. And yet there are not three lords, but one Lord. For we are compelled by Christian truth to acknowledge every person by himself to be God and Lord, so are we forbidden by the Catholic religion to say there be three gods or three lords. The Father is made of none, neither created nor begotten. The Son is of the Father alone, not made nor created, but eternally begotten. The Holy Spirit is of the Father and the Son, not made nor created nor begotten, but eternally proceeding. So there is one Father, not three fathers, one Son, not three sons, one Holy Spirit, not three Holy Spirits. And in this trinity is nothing before or after, nothing is greater or less. But all three persons are co-eternal and co-equal with one another. So that in all things as aforesaid, the unity and trinity and the trinity and unity is to be worshipped. He therefore that willeth to be saved, let him think thus of the trinity. But it is necessary for everlasting salvation that he also believe faithfully the incarnation of our Lord Jesus Christ. The right faith therefore is that we believe and confess that our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is God and man. He is God eternally begotten of the substance of the Father and he is man born of the substance of his mother in time. Perfect God, perfect man, consisting of a rational soul and human body. Equal to the Father according to his Godhead, inferior to the Father according to his humanity. Who, although he be God and man, and yet he is not two but one Christ. One who ever, not by conversion of the divinity into flesh, but by taking of the manhood into God. One altogether, not by confusion of substance, but by unity of person. For as the rational soul and body are one man, so God and man are one Christ suffered for our salvation, descended into hell, rose the third day from the dead, and ascended into heaven. He sitteth at the right hand of the Father, God Almighty, from thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. God is coming, all men shall rise again with their bodies, and shall give account for their own works. And they that have done good shall go into life everlasting, but they that have done evil into everlasting fire. This is the Catholic faith, which except a man believe faithfully and firmly he cannot be saved. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Praise the Lord for his mercy and joy forever. Alleluia. Alleluia. Ending prayers for Prime. Little chapter. 1 Timothy 1.17 To the King of Ages, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honour and glory forever and ever. Amen. Thanks be to God. O Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. O Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Thou who sittest at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Arise, O Christ, and help us, and deliver us for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell the third day, he rose again from the dead. He descended into heaven and stood at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead.
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. To thee, O Lord, have I cried, and early shall my prayer come before thee. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, that I may sing of thy glory and of thy greatness all the day long. O Lord, turn thy face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Trust me not away from thy face, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and strengthen me with a perfect spirit. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man, and rescue me from the unjust man. Deliver me from my enemies, O my God, and defend me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who work iniquity, and save me from the men of blood. So I will sing a psalm to thy name for ever and ever, that I may pay my vows from day to day. Hear us, O God, our salvation, who art the hope of all the ends of the earth and in the sea afar off. O God, come to my assistance, O Lord, make haste to help me. O Holy God, O Holy Mighty One, O Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and let all that is within me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth thee all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, and crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who satisfieth thy desire with good things, that you should be renewed like the eagles, or help us in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. I confess to Almighty God, blessed Mary of our Virgin, blessed Michael the Archangel, blessed John the Baptist, the holy apostles Peter and Paul, to all the saints and to you, brethren, that have sinned exceedingly in thought, word, and deed, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I beseech the blessed Mary of our Virgin, blessed Michael the Archangel, blessed John the Baptist, the holy apostles Peter and Paul, to all the saints and to you, brethren, to pray to the Lord our God for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and Merciful Lord grant us pardon in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Absolution and remission from our sins. Amen. Vouchsafe, O Lord, this day to keep us without sin. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Let thy mercy, O Lord, descend upon us, as we have hoped in thee, O Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with thee, and with thy spirit, let us pray. O Lord God Almighty, who has brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same by thy power, that we may not fall this day into any sin, but all our thoughts, words, and works may be directed to the fulfillment of thy will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, thy Son, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with thee, and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Pause the recording and read the Roman Martyrology here. If you are unable to read the Martyrology, read it later on in the day and recite this prayer. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. May Holy Mary and all the saints intercede for us with the Lord, that we may receive help and salvation from him and live with the reign of forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance, O Lord, make haste to help me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance, O Lord, make haste to help me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance, O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Look down upon thy servants, O Lord, and the works of thy hands, and direct our children. And let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us, and direct thou the work of our hands over us. Yea, the work of our hands do thou direct. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord God, King of heaven and earth, vouchsafe this day to direct and sanctify, to rule and govern our hearts and bodies, our thoughts, words, and deeds, and thy law, and the works of thy commandments, that now and ever we may by thy help attain salvation and freedom. O Saviour of the world, who livest and reignest for ever and ever. Amen. Pray, Father, a blessing. May the Almighty Lord order our days and actions in his peace. Amen. May the Lord direct our hearts and the bodies in the charity of God and the patience of Christ, but thou, O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Bless ye, God. May the Lord bless us and defend us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And may the souls of the faithfully departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Prayers after the Divine Office Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that thou art really present in the most blessed sacrament of the altar. I love thee above everything else, and I long to receive thee into my soul. I cannot now receive thee in Holy Communion, but I beg thee to come unto me at least spiritually. I embrace thee as already there, and unite myself entirely to thee. 
Grant that I may never be separated from thee. Corpus Christi, body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Divinity of Christ, sanctify me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O my good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the malignant enemy, defend me. In the hour of death, call me. And bid me come unto thee, so that with thy saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen. Mary's Little Remnant Ending Prayers I am thine, and all that I have is thine. O most loving Jesus, true Mary, true the most holy mother, amen. Most holy and adorable face of Jesus, have mercy on us and on our suffering brothers in purgatory. Everlasting rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace, amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most adorable face of thy dearly beloved Son, for the honour and glory of thy name, the conversion of sinners, the perseverance of the just, the relief of the suffering souls in purgatory, and of the salvation of the dying, amen. Say, Michael the Archangel, to penance in battle, be your protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke and we humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking to ruin the souls. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Precious blood of Jesus, save us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, I love thee, save souls. Our Lady of Conquistador, pray for us. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. Our Lady of Miraculous Battle, pray for us. I will put enmities between thee and the woman and thy seed and her seed, and he shall crush thy head, and thou shalt lie in wait for his heel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.